Welcome to Illo Talk. I am Corey Kerr, and today I am going to talk about my first convention, what it cost me, what I earned, um, and do kind of a cost breakdown analysis of that. Of that. So let's get started. So to start off, here are my booth costs. So I got a bunch of different things to kind of set up the booth. They all added up to $231. I'll go through uh, kind of everything here real quick, but um, I got a, um, a big banner. You guys have seen in other videos, that big banner over on the left there. That cost me $85 to print. It's vinyl, it's got grommets in the corners. Uh, then just above that, these are a, kind of a grid wall. They're modular and you can kind of build them. They're, they're kind of in like 12 inches by 12 inches squares. And, uh, and they've got little clips. Those are $36 uh, for a big set. Um, they're portable, they're kind of heavy, but you can kind of configure them in any way that you want, and so that's kind of cool. Um, I picked up $9 worth of binder clips um, in various sizes. There's about 144 binder clips that I grabbed. Um, I used those to clip things to the table, I used those to clip things to the grid wall. Um, they were super, super helpful. Um, then I got a $12 tablecloth, um, and so that tablecloth is kind of the, the colors that I use in my branding. Um, it helped me stand out because there's kind of just everybody else's white, and there's kind of that. Uh, then I spent 10 bucks on these little, uh, these little bungee alligator clip things. There's like an alligator clip, and, uh, and then there's a bungee cord. You can kind of wrap that around the poles, and then you pull it tight. That gets all the wrinkles out of your, your booth sign. Uh, I liked them. I didn't like how they looked, but I liked what they did to the signs. I'm not sure if that's something that I would recommend. Um, I, di I did like the result, but you know, it kind of adds a couple inches outside of the sign, so it doesn't look like your sign is just like there. You can kind of see how the sign is holding up. Anyway, it's all right. Um, then I spent $18 on an 11 by 17 um, portfolio. This is just a book that has empty sleeves, and those sleeves, um, you can stick different prints in them. And so that was 18 bucks, and I can't remember exactly how many that holds, but it's uh, 40, 40 I think sounds about right. Um, and that was good because you, those prints take up so much space that you can display a few of them, but then you can also have stuff where people flip through. It's also good for like original art if you draw it that size. Um, and then I also uh, got like this, uh, this kind of pipe and curtain situation. Um, there's like a kit that you can get, um, photography grid wall and, or photography backdrop. And it's got two basically kind of telescoping light stands with a bar go, that goes across the top as well. That also expands and contracts. It comes with some sandbags. Those are empty. Um, a couple, a couple clips if you want to clip stuff to it. So overall, that was a really good deal. It was $33. Pretty, pretty good, uh, quality, but not like photo studio quality, but for like knocking around and it, it held up great and it was it was wonderful. The one thing I would say about that is the bar that goes across to the top, the horizontal bar, didn't lock into place real well. So I kind of had to um, I either tape it or pinch it off with like a clip or something so that it stayed expanded because the sign will kind of pull it towards the middle. Um, and then I just got a little cart for 28 bucks. So that, that cart um, is pretty cool. Uh, it collapses down really small. Um, I would say probably like, you know, a foot and a half by two feet. It collapses down, uh, you know, to three or four inches thick. And then it'll it'll carry a couple hundred pounds. And so I, I was able to carry everything in my booth in a few boxes on that cart. So that was, that was pretty cool. So those are like the one-time costs. Um, and I might need to pick up you know, something here or there, but I'm not going to need to spend an additional $231 each time I go to a show because I own this stuff now. So that's kind of like a one-off, this is my first con type thing. Um, and as far as printing goes, um, I spent $488 on printing. Um, I didn't sell everything that I printed, so I now have an inventory um, of this type of thing. Um, some of this was not stuff that I sold. Uh, for example, I got 100 business cards for about 20 bucks. Um, I wanted to print um, my book, The Tongue Cut Sparrow, so that was um, $58 for 10 of those, and it was one of those situations where like, you know, one of them was super expensive, five of them was like 50 bucks, 
10 of them was 58 bucks. And so I, I just got, because quant- economies of scale. Um, but that's like a 40 page or 38 page um, saddle stitch, which is like they, they print it bigger and then fold it in half and, and put a staple through the metal, like, like floppy comics. Um, so that I could hand those out. I gave, I gave a couple of those out, but I wasn't selling those. As far as the stuff that I sold, um, I did 80 full color prints at 11 by 17 for $80. Um, I did 35 black and white prints um, at 11 by 17 for $23. I did 925 three inch squared stickers. Those are full color vinyl stickers. They should be indoor outdoor. Um, die cut, I did that for $190. Um, and then I did a big giant stack of postcards, a bunch of different designs, $116 for 255 of those at five by seven. So my total printing cost was $488. So if you kind of add all this up, um, I, it costs, uh, then, then there's like $40 in parking. Um, there's $45 in food and I probably could have done a better job at keeping costs down on the food. Um, $10 for incidentals, just random stuff that I had to get and whatever. And it cost me about $40 in gas round trip. So uh, $360 table at uh, Fanex. I know that's kind of a more expensive table um, and other shows might be less. Um, but if you add up the, the 231 for the booth supplies, the 48 for the printing inventory, um, the 360 for the table, and then all the kind of extra stuff, came to $1,214 in cost, right? The cool thing is I was able to spread that cost out over several paychecks. I didn't have to buy this all at once, right? So it wasn't like a big chunk. It was just a couple hundred here and there every so often. Um, I pulled in $277 in cash and $137 in credit cards for a total of $414. Um, So, I mean, that's kind of technically I made table. Um, but if I didn't have my $231 of booth supply cost and my printing inventory, um, and I was just going off of the cost of table and parking and food and incidentals and $40 in gas, it still is a little bit under. Um, but overall, that's kind of that's kind of how it kind of shook out. The next time that I do a show, um, I will still have all of that inventory, so I won't have to reprint a ton of stuff. I will have to reprint uh, the stuff that I sold out of, so that's going to be 10 or 20 bucks. Um, booth supplies. All of that's packed up, ready to go. I don't need to buy any more stuff uh, that way as well. And so the next show that I do is going to be table plus travel plus whatever, you know, housing and incidentals and food. Um, and so if I were to do somewhere between four hundred and and seven hundred dollars, I'd be I'd be making a little bit. So anyway, that's kind of the that's kind of the breakdown um, of what I ended up doing. So. Hopefully that's interesting and uh, and helps you guys make some decisions or piques your curiosity or whatever. Um, but anyway, if you want to check out my stuff, you can go to CoreyKerr.com. And as always, um, I am at uh, CoreyKerr.com. Also, if you want to sign up for my email newsletter, you can go to CoreyKerr.com slash email. You can check me out on Instagram and on Twitter and on here. And if you haven't subscribed, um, I'm not sure how you're watching this, but thanks for finding me. Go ahead and subscribe. Um, hit that bell so you get notified when I go live and when I post a new video and all that jazz. And we will see you guys later. Subscribe.